Hello everyone, my name is Manish Agarwal. I'm, uh, uh, we are, I'm, I'm representing a company, we are energy partner for a beautiful project called uh, Gravity Forest View. So before I talk about the project, let me talk about that why there is a requirement for energy partner, what is the, what is the concept of energy for a real estate project. Okay, it, it's surprising, I mean a lot of people when they look at the energy, they think that the energy is something which has to be provided by the government. Now, I don't know how many of you know, but then in India, the carbon footprint of every unit of electricity is about 950 gram of carbon dioxide. So every time you switch on a TV or anything, you are burning carbon dioxide which you may or may not realize. Gravity Forest View has been created with a consciousness. We like the idea of the founder, I mean we met Mr. Surya and then when he enlightened us about the concept that this project is being built with a lot of environment consciousness, that's the one of the feature which they talk about. Even though it looks like a mental feature, but that has been implemented into this project in a detail that uh, what is the environment consciousness you are talking about. So every place that you see here, lot of thought has been gone into how to save environment, how to protect environment, how to make this planet more livable by the actions that we make, uh, whatever the actions we do today are going to impact our tomorrow. So with that premise, I'll talk about what is the concept of energy. So as I said that every unit of electricity that you take from the grid costs you about 950 gram of CO2. So now the idea was that can we at least can we at least save about uh, 5 kilogram of CO2 per house? That's the minimum baseline that we set on ourselves. That a target is to at least save about 200 kilogram of CO2 every month. That's a very minuscule target. And then can we save about 2500 kg of CO2 in a year or in a lifespan of 25 years? Can we save about, and now you can do the mathematics, it's a whooping amount of carbon dioxide that you are going to save. And that's the impact we as an energy partner are going to make. Now the next question comes is, no benefit comes without a cost. Now what is the cost? So, so the cost when you're talking about, we are not talking about the cost in terms of financial cost. We are talking about the cost in terms of what is the footprint it is going to take on my roof, number one. Number two is, is this solution truly green? Because see, if I have now have a choice, I can do the same project with the solar. So if I do with the solar to save about 200 kilogram of CO2 every month, I would require a rooftop space, you can do a mathematics, I would require a rooftop, so I would require a solar panel of at, at least two, minimum to minimum, I would require like about two kilowatt of solar space, which requires about 200 square feet of rooftop space that has been taken, that's the point number one. Point number two that we are, we have discussed with the builder and that we realize is that solar has a life of 25 years and after 25 years, I have to find a landfill and now in the world there are enough solar panels which are going to expire and they would require a landfill of a size of a city like a Mysore. And that's the future. We are talking about a future where a lot of landfills are required to fill in the solar panels. How do we solve it? We are not saying solar is a bad technology. We are saying it has to be augmented by a technology which can make the real estate requirement little smaller. That's one. Second is being in a city like Bangalore, most of the solar companies, they know that the curve of a solar production drops down in certain months. It increases in certain months. So it's really very curvy. So if you go to a website like zerobuild.in, you'll find out that the curve that we are talking about is very curvy. So it does not create a reliable solar power. We, so to, how do we make it reliable? So whenever solar goes down, I need to compensate it with some other source, which could perform much better than a solar, like the day today. It's a lovely day. We don't have sunlight, but we have a lovely breeze. So, so the solution, I mean, it's no brainer. You have a wind turbine, which can produce the amount of electricity which solar cannot do. And also it does not require a rooftop space. It just requires a pole. So it's a lovely solution we are designing at uh, uh, Gravity um, in the farm view. So this is a concept that you'll require a solar space, which is like about a 50% of the traditional solar space requirement. Plus you'll have a wind turbine, which what it'll do is it'll compensate for the loss of the uh, energy when the sun is not shining. And I mean, you don't want sun to shine every day, otherwise it will become very hot. So whenever you have a lovely, pleasant weather, you can come out and then you can see the windmill rotating. You'll feel like you are in some European nation and that's the reality. It's going to happen right here in gravity. And this is the one aspect of it. Second aspect of it is the whole concept has been built around the lithium ion battery bank. We are not using lead acid batteries uh, for very long known reasons that it creates acid fumes, number one, it spoils the tiles, number two, and also uh, the lead poisoning that is associated with the lead acid is well known. So we don't want to do this uh, cardinal sin. I mean, we are, we are talking about is we are going to do the lithium ion battery bank, which are much smaller. It doesn't eat up your space in your house. 
so your house will not be cluttered with neither with the acid fume nor with the bigger battery banks and nor you will have a guilty feeling when you have to dispose it off. So that's the concept and then solution is going to be very elegant. It's the solution which we have tried in uh, the northeast. We have a lot of wind turbines which are running. I mean the Bogey Bill Bridge which is India's longest river bridge. The entire bridge has been led by our technology. So we are a technology company and then we have we are come here to partner with Gravity and we wish you all the best that you enjoy our product and services for a lifetime. Take this environment conscious decision and uh, make our planet more breathable, more livable. As it always said that uh, this is not the planet that we own. We actually take it out on loan from our kids and we have to give it back to them in the same shape as we have taken it on a loan. So with that advice, thank you so much. About climate consciousness, what is so important about uh, it for the occupant? Yeah, it's, it's a very nice question. So first of all, I would like to thank Gravity for thinking about climate consciousness, uh, which is not only a simple buzzword, it is actually the need for the future. It, the, it starts with the premise that this climate has been taken on loan from our children. Now you have to pay a uh, very nice attention to it. That when somebody is taken on loan, you have to pay it back in either the same form or in a better form. So this is our responsibility to give this climate in a better form. Now what are the things which are hurting the climate? So um, if you would know that in India, the 55% of the pollution, I'm again repeating it, 55% of the pollution is only because of electricity. Okay. So electricity is the biggest culprit. So if you could do something about electricity, the way the electricity is produced, every time you burn a one unit of electricity, you release 950 gram of carbon dioxide in climate. So you are worsening the climate every time you use an electricity. So this is something that climate consciousness, the premise starts. The let's attack the biggest animal first, and then we start attacking the other animals like adopting of electric vehicles, setting up more charging points. Those are the small ticket items. But the bigger ticket items is the residential use of electricity, the industrial use of electricity. So the what gravity is doing is, is a fantastic that you started thinking about yeah, uh, alternative, alternative, alternative sources. Alternative. We call it renewable sources of energy, yeah, yeah. which is like wind and solar. And uh, the solution that we, uh, um, we are thankful that you chose us as an energy partner. And yeah. then, so we are, uh, we'll provide you a technology. How much, how much it will help? to my uh, employee, uh, the occupant, how much it will help in the cost effective way? Okay, uh, okay, so the cost is one part of it. So once they install this solution, so like uh, roughly about 200 units a month is virtually free for them. So can you tell me in rupees, how much would be they, how, uh, would, how much they would save if we adopt this technology? Every two years, the electricity prices goes up by 15%. And that's an unwritten rule. You go back and check your electricity meters, Every two years, you have a 15% of hike happening. With that, the current market rate, which is the highest unit, is 9 rupees, which is going to become like with a 15% of compounding. Oh, okay. 15% of compounding, it is just in five years going to reach about 18 rupees. That's nice. That's so, nice. so you have, we are talking about a significant saving, even if we take a ballpoint figure of like about 15 rupees a unit in the future, like about five years from now. So that talks about like about 3,000 rupees a month, which is going to be the saving. And this is not about only about the financial saving. It's also about the climate consciousness that we are talking about. The residents will feel good that they are using the electricity which is self-grown. Mm. Third point is, it's a self-reliance. So tomorrow for any reason, the electricity, like the grid fails or anything, there's a metro work construction happening, they don't need to burn the diesel generator. Because okay. what happens with the diesel generator is, the pollution which created of the diesel generator remains, remains within the premises. One part is it impacts the global climate. Second is it impacts the regional climate, which is within your premises. So, mm. so you have taken a very fantastic step that it uh, protects the environment, it makes the your air more breathy. So here's nice air. And then with this solution, the air remains the same way. True, true, true. So that's the big advantage.